Hey, what's going on, everyone? And welcome to a brand new episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV, the official weekly webcast. I'm John. And I'm Allison. And this is your destination for all the latest and greatest news about the world of Disney Infinity. We've got an awesome show for you guys this week, starting with the counting down of the top five official arcade game toy boxes. Additionally, we've got brand new blueprints and tips and tricks from the guys at Avalanche Software. And we're also going to be hearing from you about some exciting things happening in the world of Disney Infinity. Yeah, that's right, Allison. But personally, selfishly, I'm really excited to start this top five arcade game countdown because I'm such a huge video game nerd, and I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are as well. So without further ado, Allison. Yeah, let's check out that arcade game awesome. <laughs> yeah, bring on the boom shakalaka. Yeah! <laughs> Starting the countdown at number five, we have Birdie Blitz created by Nate. Life the Crows are a toy box filled with some crazy challenging obstacles. This impressive feat of hand eye coordination will both get your adrenaline pumping and test your resolve. Only an elite few will have what it takes to make it to the end. Be sure to write below or in the forums and tell us about your experience if you do make it all the way. And at number four, we have Cube Challenge created by Warlord Raven. This is some great old school fun that relies on the kind of tried and true mechanics to make good games timeless. Drop in a quarter and try to turn all the blocks yellow, but look out for the bad guys. They will be coming on strong, and you'll need to be nimble with lightning-fast reflexes to get the job done. In the number three position, we have Heroes Duty, created by Sodor156. We love this one. Remember the epic Heroes Duty action sequence from Wreck-It Ralph? This toy box recreates that setting with an amazing amount of authenticity. Make your way to the top of the tower as you battle droves upon droves of enemies. The fight for survival has never been this much fun. Thanks for the action-packed experience, Sodor. And nearing the coveted top position at number two, we have Heroes Duty 2, created by Finn Warrior. This custom toy box sequel really got us excited with its great action and originality. The cyber threat is gone, but the danger is not. The security system is still in full alert, and you'll need to fight your way through and reclaim the hero's medal. Well done, Finn Warrior. Well done. And in the number one position for the best of the best worldwide, we have Flynn's Arcade, created by Papa Eka. This is old school arcade action at its finest. Our jaws just dropped when we saw this astounding recreation of Flynn's Arcade from Tron. But we got even more excited when we started playing the arcade games within it. These totally brought out our inner gaming geeks and captured the spirit of the 80s. Also, it looks like Kevin Flynn was working on a secret project in this toy box. Be sure to write in and comment and let us know what you find. Thanks again to our winners for your arcade style masterpieces. They were really cool and we know the community is going to have a ton of fun downloading and playing these. Speaking of which, all the toy boxes that you just saw, they're available for download now. So feel free to jump into the game, download them, and play around. Yeah, definitely play around and have fun with those guys. But now it's the point in the show where we get to announce what your next challenge is. And with April Fools right around the corner, we thought it'd be fun if all of you pranksters out there had a chance to trick out your toy box. So please help me welcome the Monstrous Pranks Challenge. Look, this one's going to be great, but I have to tell you, Allison. What? I can't stand April Fool's. Well, why not? It's like at the office, everyone's always hiding all my stuff in boxes, so I don't think I'm working at Disney anymore, or like wrapping everything in tinfoil. It drives me up a wall, but we thought it'd be fun for you guys out there to come up with toy boxes full of fun and amazing hijinks. Yeah, and one of the great things about this challenge is that you're going to be able to use a lot of the toys from the Monsters University playset. There's so many cool pranks in that playset. Yeah, there's absolutely right. I mean, there's things like the the telephone booth, right, that has the foam hands. So you can use that in a lot of funny different ways. You also have, like, the sewer hole cover. It can pop up and knock people around. It'd be fun to take, like, Mike Wazowski and Sully and Jack Skellington and see what kind of pranks they can pull on someone like uh, Randall from Monsters U. I'd love to see those scares team up against them. I mean, and also, you can do fun things with the TP launcher as well. I mean, this is going to be an awesome challenge, you guys. We really cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. So, submissions are going to be due by March 19th at noon Pacific Standard Time. Hey, John, how about a trivia question? Hey, Allison, okay. I know you love coming up with these trivia questions. And I love watching you come up with All these right. trivia questions. <laughs> okay, fine. So, let's think of one related to uh, April Fools. And since it's April Fools and it's about monsters because they're huge pranksters and huge scares, it's just something. Uh, oh, I've got it. Okay. So, guys, what is Monsters University's rival school name? And I'll give you a hint. They're nothing to fear, despite the name. Go ahead and write your response below in the comments, or go ahead and post on our Disney Infinity forums. All right, guys, let's look at yet another way that you can expand your Disney Infinity experience. Oh, dude, is totally rad. None other from Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas and the Pumpkin King himself. Jack Skellington, one of my favorite characters, and actually in the beginning, one of the characters that the development team fought really hard to include inside of Disney Infinity. And you know what? He's absolutely awesome in the toy box mode of the game. 
Comes with a super scare oh. ability, which is a ton of fun. Plus, dude also throws flaming pumpkins. You can't be that. <laughs> yeah, totally can't. And he's got a really, really cool adventure. Yeah, it's called Jack's Nightmare. And it's this action packed battle where he's got a fight to stay in one piece. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> it's the survival mode, actually. And it's a lot of fun, especially with three of your buddies. So definitely check it out in multiplayer. Let's move on over to the social media spotlight and see what you've been talking about this week. All right, so over on Instagram, so you think you can mom, sweet name by the way, has this awesome Disney Infinity Arcade that she posted with the comment, "Oh yeah, we definitely have a Disney Infinity Arcade on site. We can't show our Disney site without our friends." Pretty cool stuff. Check out those streamers. We have this great photo that Gohete Boy captured of Rich Moore, director of Wreck-It Ralph, with the Disney Infinity Wreck-It Ralph figure. And over on Facebook, Sage James says, I like making food for my toy boxes. Wow. I mean, these totally make me hungry just looking at them. Check out the onions on that hot dog or the little dollop of butter on the pancakes or even that shake and fries. Om nom nom. I'm hungry. Also on Facebook, we have this super cool moment captured by Raymond Francisco. Elsa looks great as she shows off her equally perfect looking Elsa Disney Infinity figure. How cool is that? And before we go, we have this week's Toy Box Tutorials from the guys at Avalanche Software, who made Disney Infinity. These will help inspire you as you start jamming away on your next great Toy Box creation. Hello, Disney Infinity fans. Oh, poor, poor Sully. Fear Tech has seriously pranked MU Campus, and Sully is the unlucky target. This is not going to be a walk in the park for this monster. Help him safely make his way back to the School for Scaring building in one piece. Along the way, he's going to get slapped, pied, gooed, sprayed, shrunk, punched, and shot through cannons, just to name a few of the crazy pranks that await him. But don't worry, there are checkpoints along the way to help him out if he should ever miss a step or two. For this Monsters University-inspired world, we use the MU playset pieces for the buildings, trees, and decorations. Have fun in this prank-filled campus, and good luck. When setting up a chain of pranks, placement is everything. Too far and he falls short, and too close and he breaks the toy. Make sure to place the prank first and then use it to see where he'll land. Then, place the next one right where he landed. Use a variety of pranks to make it fun and interesting and good luck. Hey, Allison. Hey, John. I'm sad. Why are you sad? Because it's getting towards the end. You see that little thing at the bottom of the screen? It means that... Time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Which is really sad, but fear not, everyone, because we have a brand new episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV next Thursday, full of great new news, awesome new content, interviews, you name it, we got it. That's right. And you know what? In the meantime, start plotting your monstrous prank toy boxes. They're due by March 19th at, remember, noon Pacific Standard Time. That's right. So even though we have to say goodbye, you guys have an awesome week. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it. <laughs>